In the last lecture, we talked about what a culture is, what a corporate culture is, how you create a culture, um, what management and leadership needs to do in order to create the environment where people feel like they are uh, are motivated to help the organization succeed. Um, starting the culture is one thing, or initiating it, but keeping it going as the organization faces challenges is sometimes even more difficult than, um, than what you would expect. Because anything in leadership, anything in, with organizations and social environments require continuous um, interventions to make sure the organization moves forward, particularly since things change, the world changes, events sometimes stress the organization. So you need to make sure that everybody is systematically and continuously uh, indoctrinated or chartered with what the organization is about, what, what it is that your uh, organization is trying to accomplish. Senior management talks about it and lives it by examples. People get rewarded for what they do. You have these ceremonies like we talked about before. Um, you continue to tell stories. New stories become part of the folklore. It's, people share them when they're exemplar of what the cultural behaviors that are expected look like. New employees coming in are screened to make sure that they fit culturally into the organization and how that moves forward. These are the things that are continually going on. This is not a once and done exercise, but it's a continuous effort going forward. And this is in the face of some really sometimes significant bumps along the road for organizations, particularly like now when new technologies come on board, new things buffet, for example, a, the healthcare industry is, uh, is being challenged. The automotive industry is being challenged with new technologies, both IT technologies, but also energy technologies. Sometimes firms grow really fast. They're hiring a lot of people. Those new people don't know the culture. They didn't grow up in it. So there's some challenges associated with that. Organizations merge oftentimes. Um, when I was with AT&T, one of the reasons that a particular organization was chosen to acquire for computer technology NCR was because there was felt to be a cultural match. But then the organizations really weren't brought together, so there was continuing to be a clash. And eventually it was spun off as a separate entity as well. So it's not easy to, uh, to continue to promote or integrate a new or a, a strong or a effective culture, which we'll talk about in the next lectures, um, whenever you are bring organizations together. Sometimes the internal condition changes. Maybe the uh, company is not as profitable as it once was. Maybe it outsources certain functions. There are all sorts of challenges in the marketplace and in the supplier chain that also impact the effects of culture. So if you really think about it, you are got all your people organized into these functional groups or these product groups or this matrix organization, and that's sort of how they're driven to, to know what to do and how to do it. And then you have this culture which is supporting them, uh, their, their more uh, emotional position and their, uh, their sense of belonging to a community, but that is also buffeted. And so leaders need to, in organizations, through their leadership and the leadership across the entire organization, needs to continually evolve that particular culture and move it forward into a strong and, and, uh, uh, and, and one that will be successful in the world that it's being faced in the future not necessarily the past. And if you really think about it, that can be quite challenging. A lot of old stories, you need new stories to, sub to supplement those that talk about what it's like with this new company you've acquired or with the new market changes or with changing internal dynamics. Um, an interesting and challenging part of managing strategic implementation and execution. Um, you can have a healthy culture. You can have an unhealthy culture. We'll go there next and talk about what to look for in cultures and what to be worried about in terms of uh, whether or not you feel that it will be successful for you or it might actually impede your strategic transformations. We'll see you then.